Hey guys, today um, just gonna be doing a quick little review of uh, some string joy strings that I've gotten. Um, after we get done with the acoustic strings, I'll be doing a little bit on the uh, custom set electrics that I got. Um, so the acoustic strings are uh, part of their new phosphor bronze, natural phosphor bronze uh, series. Um, he sent me one with my first order uh, to go ahead and review, and I actually had to get my acoustic set up, so I went ahead and had those strings put on it, and that's why it's <laughs> taken me a little bit to get this out. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, hopefully, if my recordings work out right, I'll be having a little bit of the actual acoustic signal mixed in with a direct in on this. Um, so uh, I don't know if this is really going to matter to anybody, but uh, the guitar I'm playing is a Epiphone EJ186E. It's the John Lennon signature. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump in. That was like uh, one of the first things I really noticed was uh, these are a whole lot brighter. I think I've only used uh, phosphor bronze twice in my life, and they were on my jumbo Ibanez, which is a budget end. And of course, it sounded really bassy, boomy. Uh, this is a dreadnought style, which. Sadly, it took me five, six years to find out that I was more of a Dreadnought guy than a Jumbo guy, because when I originally got that, I had no idea what I was looking for in acoustics. Um, but anyway, back to the strings. Um, they're a lot more on the bright side, which I like. Um, acoustically, they're nice. They're uh, obviously nice and bright. Um, Hopefully direct in, we'll be able to tell that um, it's also very bright and clear. Um, to me, honestly, it doesn't seem to be too bright. Um, it does help that my acoustic has a tone knob. Um, I'm sure most acoustic electrics have some form of fashion to adjust the tone. But of course, if you're going direct in, you have the PA where you can actually adjust it. Um, um, yeah, I'm not sure what more I can say. I'll just play a little more on this and then we'll jump right into the electric.
All right, and we're back. Um, the electric strings I got, um, I went ahead and did a custom set, and I got a 10 and a half 48 set. So it, the uh, strings are 10 and a half, 13 and a half, 18 wound G, which was new for me, uh, 26, uh, 36, and 48. Uh, the first thing I noticed when I actually put these on was how much more balanced it was, but part of that was because I actually got in touch with Scott before I ordered and asked him, you know, what would work best for my Explorer, and he suggested definitely going for a more balanced low end, which what I'm nor normally used, I think, was like a 52 uh size lower end with some with tens and um so the first thing i really noticed that it was a whole lot smoother feeling down here down on the lower end and then the g uh tone wise seemed to be a bit more fuller um so overall i've really liked these uh over compared to what other stuff i've used um, so I'll just do a quick little, uh, I'll go through all three of the positions on the Explorer, uh, running through my Vox AC30, no other effects, and just to kind of give you an idea of what they sound like. All right, so I was sitting here editing the String Joy video, and I somehow lost the last two minutes of my audio. Um, so that was basically my finishing thought, so I can go ahead and knock those out. Uh, as far as the electric strings, so far I've really enjoyed them. Uh, the Wound G has made my set feel a little uh, more full. Um, tonal wise, uh, same, it feels a little more full. Uh, I worked with Scott about getting a good balance set for my Explorer. Um, so I ordered two more sets of those, one so I can replace the set on my Gibson soon, and also put another pair on either my pair set. Uh, put another set on either my music box or my strat. Uh, I'm not sure which yet, but um, I'm sure there'll be an update to follow. Um, the acoustic strings uh, felt really good to me. Um, probably one of the better sets of acoustic strings I played. I haven't uh, had any kind of phosphor bronze strings on acoustic in a very long time, um, and I kind of forgotten how much I liked them over that time period, so getting them again, uh, I think I'm definitely going to be sticking with those for a while. Uh, so like I said, uh, I apologize that I lost the actual audio to the end of my video, so I really hope you enjoyed this, and if you like this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and we'll see about getting more uh, 
string demos and reviews out there for you. So thanks. <laughs>